Welcome to this Windows channel and this is another Back to Basics episode of Windows Knowledge and we're going to talk about the mouse buttons. This is, I would think, of all the things we use all the time, the least understood part of a computer. The right and the left click. What is the difference? Why two mouse buttons? And by the way, if you're using a laptop and have a trackpad, most laptops trackpads have two buttons, left and right, once again. And little trick, if your trackpad does not have buttons, it still probably clicks when you're on the bottom of the trackpad on the left and the right side, like a left and a right button. So what is the difference between the left and the right buttons? Very simple. And I'm going to show you here. Everybody knows that the left click actually will let you select something or click on something to use it. So if I left click Edge, it opens up. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows that if you left double click on something on your desktop, it's going to open it. So for example, if I um, double click on uh, God Mode here, it opens god mode with all the options. Now, what does the right click do? And that's the difference between somebody that is pretty good at computers and people that have difficulty in doing things. Because the right click, I call it the button that has the answer to your questions. You think so? You're wondering why I'm saying that? Here's the thing. Say I want to send this PDF file somewhere else in my computer on a thumb drive or whatever. I'm asking myself that question. Right click and in that right click I do have the option send to with all the different places I can send to. Um, I'm wondering how do I delete a file from my desktop? Oh you can you know, move it to the recycle bin by sliding it. But you know what? I'm asking once again my question. How do I delete a file from my desktop? Let's check it out. Right click on what I want to delete. That's interesting. When I look at this list, it has delete and the options. The right click has a contextual menu of options. The most popular options that you might want to do with this object. A file in programs everywhere. Say I'm in the Edge browser. If I right click in the page, I've got options. So the right click is totally dependent on where, where you are. But even more than that, totally dependent also in the different areas of where you are on a program. So here at the top in the taskbar gives me the option to paste, to undo, to select all. Uh, in the page itself gives me another option, print, view source, inspect element, select all. Uh, depending on what you use, it is different. Say here I go to the word, um, you know, word processor and a blank page. If I right click, I've got edit editor that appears. If I had, and we're going to Check it out. Say I write test here. I go over it to select it. If I right click on that option, it will often give me uh, you know, all the options necessary. So here you've got cut, copy, paste options, all sorts of things that I can do in that area. So basically the right click is very important because if you're asking yourself how to do something, click on the object. Um, if you're on a web page, say I go to um, Paul Tarot's, uh excellent website. So I'm here. I want this article, but I don't want it on the same page. I want to ha open it in a new tab. Well, well, if I'm on here I, where I can click, if I right click on it, look at the options it gives me. Oh, 
open a new tab. I even have open in a new window. So here we go. I've accomplished what I wanted. I asked myself a question and it worked. So basically the right click it's the button that answers to your question and I can tell you that probably 70 75 percent of what everybody wants to do is in the right click. It's as simple as that. So the left click to select to do an action to open a program or file it really does an action. The right click gives you a menu of the options that are available with that object. So it's very important. Your mouse pointer needs to be on the object of what you want to do something with. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up if you like our videos. Hope you enjoy these back to basics where we learn the most basics, but often um, misunderstood features of computers. Thank you for watching.